at approximately 20, 21 hours this evening, Deputy of the Harris County Sheriff's Office yeah, we're ready. was at the corner of West Road in Telby. Yeah, where he had gone into uh, Gas's vehicle after working a, an incident earlier in that evening. As what we can tell indications now, that as uh, he was at the gas pump pumping his uh, gas into his vehicle, a male suspect came up behind the deputy and uh, shot the deputy multiple times. Uh, the deputy then fell to the ground. The suspect then continued over to him and shot the deputy again multiple times as he laid on the ground. The suspect then fled to a red colored or maroon colored dark red or maroon Ford Ranger truck, which is a small extended truck, a fleet side truck, um, and then continued west on West Road. A witness called 911 and let us know that they, one of our deputies had been shot. Multiple units arrived. The EMS arrived on scene. <coughs> Unfortunately, the deputy passed. We are actively searching for this suspect as right now. I can tell you that with diligence and justice, the suspect will be caught and he will be brought to justice. This is all I have for you right now. The deputy is a 10-year veteran assigned to our West District Patrol in District 5. Um, it's a very, very tough moment right now for the Harris County Sheriff's Office. Um, I can ask that you, for you or give us our prayers and your thoughts. Any information that anyone had, please call the Harris County Sheriff's Office. Again, he's described as a male suspect, dark complected, 5'10 to 6 foot, wearing a white t-shirt and red shorts. Again, the truck is a red or maroon colored Ford extended Ranger, which is a smaller version of the pickup trucks. And it's a fleet side, not a small. That's the only information I have for you now. We will be putting out more information when the, uh, the sheriff is on the route to here, and we'll have a formal news conference then. Did he say anything to uh, the deputy who was shot uh, before? As far as indications, no. He, um, he walked up to the, he walked up behind the deputy and shot him. That's what the indications we have right now. No apparent reason. No at apparent all. reason at all. No motive unknown. No callous individual, whoever he is. I mean, how bizarre is this? It's a very bizarre incident. This, you know, it's people understand. You know that. It's tough enough being a deputy and being a law enforcement in this country right now. But for people the way that they are right now, it's, it's, I have no words for what this type of person did. The callousness is as much. Yeah, That's all I have for now. No, no ma'am, not right now. So do you think it was just because he was an officer that that's what prompted this indications as far as we have right now, that's all. Was he in uniform at the time? Yes, he was, in full uniform. He was still on duty. He was pumping up a patrol car, right? Pumping up a patrol car. There was no question of who he was. No, no. He was wearing a full uniform, marked unit, everything. How many rounds did this suspect get off? Multiple rounds, I can't tell you many. So he's not investigating anything. He's just there getting gas at this. Just getting gas at the gas station. Do you know what the earlier scene he had done before that? I think it was a traffic accident or something. Something just as far as a normal routine of his day. Is it possible that somebody came back from that and, and did this? Did any, any kind of In, investigations are going into every aspect now that we have. If you could talk to the suspect and tell them something directly, what would you say that tonight? Uh, give yourself up. Just a matter of time. Yes, give yourourself up. That's what I have to do. Please. Was it a being in the car with anyone else? Was a partner there? No, he was a single single unit. So most of our units in, in the uh, Harris County Sheriff's Office are single man units. Uh, don't, no, no one said anything? He, he didn't say anything to the deputy? No. Uh, we do not have a plate on the plate. Is this a busy gas station? That's a Western Telgate. It's a very busy intersection. People come and go in all the time. I mean, you've obviously never seen anything like this before, right? No, it's a very, very... What, what kind of start, what kind of lead did the suspect get on? It's like how many minutes do you think it took to, to dispatch? Where could he be right now? Well, a matter of minutes, maybe, you know, I don't have the time indication. Uh, again, if anyone saw this truck, any any leads that we can get any time would be good. Could you describe him, describe him again, please? Dark complected male. Um, 5'10 to 6 foot, uh, short hair, fade cut, wearing a white t-shirt and red shorts. Dark or do you know his race or is there... It's undetermined right now. That's that's what we're trying to find and the video is not real clear. So can, you tell us, can you tell us any more about the deputies who married his children? I'm not prepared to release any of that right now. I can tell you that he's a 10-year veteran of course.